Hello dear friends, welcome to my channel. Today's discussion is is real analysis problem. Let the function f is defined as follows fx equals to 1 by 2 to the power n, 1 by 2 to the power n plus 1 is then and then rather than equals to 1 by 2 to the power n. So where n equals to 0 to 1 by 2 dot dot up to a z up to in, infinity. So otherwise 0 it's then find 0 to 1 fx dx is answer a 1 0 2 comma 3 2 by 3 3 by 2 we have 0 to 1 fx dx is equal to limit n tends to infinity 1 by 2 to the power n to 1 fx dx and now it can be break in this way 1 to 1 by 2 1 by 2 1 by 2 square 1 by 2 square 1 by 2 cube up to 1 by 2 to the power n and 1 by 2 to the power n minus 1 limit n tends to infinity okay friends because i use property of definite integral so whatever i get i get first is 1 to 1 by 2 so my answer is 1 and 1 by 2 to 1 by 2 square so it is 1 by 2 1 by 2 cube to 1 by 2 square 1 by 2 square 1 by 2 2 to the power 4 1 by 2 cube dx and 1 by 2 to the power n minus n minus 1 this is integral value and i use the integration of dx is equal to x but i just i am just putting upper limit minus lower limit upper limit minus lower limit this is i i get and i get this value and i use the i get this result 1 by 1 by 1 by 4 to the power n 1 minus 1 by 4 half and 2 by 3 l n tends to infinity because and limit n tends to infinity so if i putting in here n tends to infinity it is zero so a answer is 4 4 minus 3 and 4 4 cut and it is 2 by 3 okay simple calculation and a plus a a r a r square a r cube a r to the power 4 a r to the power n minus 1 is equal to a r to the power n minus 1 divided by r minus 1 this is the gp formula this formula is gp formula hope i hope it is clear for everyone thanks for watching